a good afternoon to you and welcome to the Chiz Under 20 basketball tournament here at St. John's College in Harare, Zimbabwe. And I can tell you it is a humdinger of a tournament. Lots of schools that are here from the likes of Gateway, Southeastern College, Petra uh, coming through, uh, as well as the likes of Watershed. We've got CBC, that's Christian Brothers College, Loma Gandhi College. Uh, Watershed is right in there. The hosts themselves, uh, St. John's College. We've also got St. George's, their rivals, as well as Peter House. And the particular match that we're focusing on right now is St. John's College, the home team, taking on Peter House. A number of matches have been played already, but we are looking uh, to this one, which will be St. John's College taking on Peter House. Now, uh, Peter House had a little bit of a torrid time in the uh, previous match. They were struggling a little bit there to get their shots off, but maybe in this particular match, they will do better. So with that one, St. John's College immediately has possession, looking like number seven being their point guard and looking to shift the ball around. That will be very important, but uh, the Peter House defense looking pretty solid. Going for the three-pointer, ah, oh, just about misses that one. They missed the following layup, and that is gonna be two free throws coming up for St. John's, so an early scoring opportunity here for St. John's College. And that opportunity going to the number nine of St. John's College. It goes for the first one. A misses does have a second shot here, but they will have to try and win the rebound if they will get all two points. Misses the second shot, but again, a mistake on collecting the rebound, and they will now have to concede position to beat our Kings. Now, if you were wondering uh, how long each quarter is, each quarter will be 10 minutes. And you will have two quarters, so they are consisting of halves, first half, second half, and then the game is done and dusted. So in two halves, you need to get everything done. Now Peter is uh, moving the ball around quite nicely, spins out of it, and quite unfortunate, he didn't get the shot in, but that was really good uh, basketball by the number 10 of Peter House. And two free throws it is again. Oh, that one just bubbles out of the, the rim. Quite unfortunate. And he finally gets the second one. So the first points on the board going through to Peter House. And more like a football scoreline, they are leading 1-0. St. John's College going for the three-pointer. This time round misses it. And possession turns over. Pidaus uh, looking for outlets here. Little bit of a tight pass. Goes for the shot and he gets it in. And Pidaus now leading three points to nil. Decides to go inside for it, and he's also able to get the two points. So a good drive to the ring. And he gets two points and two free throws on top of that. So this should be a good opportunity to try and gain a little bit of a lead over Peter House. Oh, that one is just only one free throw. But nonetheless, after missing it, he gets the two points. So... He gets to lead nonetheless. So, 
now Peter House swinging the ball around. Now in the key, looking for the shot, misses it. And so that's, looks like it is going to be two free throws that are going to be coming through and a couple of elbows and it could have actually amounted into a head injury there. Oh, well, he gets the first free throw in, but just only, just. Goes for it, but misses it this time round, but rebound well taken by number 10. Looking for an outlet, they finally get it. Looking for that pass, that outlet, can they find it? Will he go for the three-point shot? He does, but maybe just a little bit misdirected. This time round, picked up. St. John's going for the shot. That one was a little bit of a Hail Mary, and Pete House can turn over possession. And there we go, bumps straight into <laughs> the number 13 of St. John's College. I think there is definitely love lost between the two there. Goes for the shot, but once again, another miss by Pete House. So, Scores are level at the moment at four points apiece. St. John's getting the ball through to their number eight, but that's stolen. Now being taken up. That's a foul. And well, definitely some instructions coming through from the Peter House coach looking for it and he definitely is emotional there wow I wonder what exactly was being done there uh, trying to keep possession and he flicked the ball straight out of play but St. John's College can now retain possession and now go about things so just about six minutes left on the clock for the first half. Picked up, number 13 driving into the key. Finds the pass, but that one is a foul. And St. John's College are gonna have their own set of free throws. So two free throws here, and that one should take them into the lead now. Looks like a substitution coming on. Number 13 of Peter House has to go. Number three comes on. Misses the first free throw. And he nails the second free throw, so now in the lead. St. John's College, so it looks like it's going to be a, a seesaw match here, quite tight. Pete House coming down the court through there, number six. Looking for those options. Number 10 has the ball, sends it out to the new substitute, number three, who sends it to you is number 12. Number two, looking for space to shoot. He's totally smothered there. Goes for the shot, but that one once again was a little bit more of wishful thinking than it was something that was going to go in. St. John's looking to control the game there and miscalculated pass and that one goes straight out. So the idea was great, but the execution a little bit challenging at that point. Number 12 has it. Straight to number two, that pass was off. Picked up by St. John's going for the layup and he nails that one. So St. John's College extend their lead now seven points to four. Pete 
Lighthouse. Looking for an outlet again. Sending it through. Uh, there was no way in at that point. And the referee calls it immediately. That was steps. Surely there was no way through at that point. The only way to find a way through there was to actually take on rugby skills. And even those skills were not enough for him. But anyway, St. John's College continue to pile on some more pressure, trying to find their way into the key. Well, goes through a couple of players there, but the pass was a little bit off. Comes back again, goes for the three-pointer. Unable to nail it, rebound taken, but stolen by number 12 from Peter House. Again, looking for that shot. Was no way through, but the referee calls for a foul again. And it is going to be two free throws coming the way of Peter House. In actual fact, the referee not calling it a free throw, but seeing a foul in the direction of Peter House. So there they have it. They need an outlet proving to be quite difficult, but finally they do find it. Goes for the shot. Can't quite execute the fadeaway. And St. John's College pick it up on the counter. Again, another poor pass coming through from number 13. And immediately he is substituted by the coach. I think having a little bit of a torrid time right now, maybe a few tired legs that are out there. But uh, I'm sure he's got quite a bit to think about on the bench. So fresh legs on the court for St. John's College. Let's see how Peter House deals with this one. Again, Peter House goes through that shot. That shot was definitely off, and you can see even the coach there quite livid uh, with that piece of play. Now we do have uh, number three who's come on board for St. John's College. And one thing I can say, I've seen this youngster, particularly last year playing in the under 16 basketball tournament. And he was quite a live wire. Hopefully he can bring some of that into this particular match. So just about two minutes left on the clock. Going up for the shot immediately blocked and that was a good way to find them so two free throws the question is execution let's see how he does the first one uh, misses that one Coming for the second. Misses it again, but rebound well taken. Has got a second bite of the cherry. Sends it out. Good options, good pass. But there were steps there, and so that basket will not count. St. John's College can count their lucky stars here. Looking for an opportunity. Number three sends it across. Goes for the layup. Missed. Peter House wrestling for the ball here. Ah, oh, lovely little back flick pass. And now Peter House going for it. 
and the foul was called before they got the basket so it is going to be a free throw time for number six maybe he can narrow the gap between Peter House and St. John's College misses it now coming through for the second one and misses the second one so an opportunity squandered to get some points on the board well taken by number 10 but unfortunately losing his footing and the ball bouncing off of his knee Number six looking for the outlets, looking for options. Number two is onto it. Number six right by the corner of the D. Quite lucky not to be called for steps there. A little bit too jittery. Number three from Pete House. Now looking for the shot. Taken away by St. John's. Stolen back by Pete House. Looking to protect the ball and shoot. And he gets another two free throws. Well, I'm sure they can accumulate free throws all day long. But if you don't utilize them, make use of them, then it is going to be tough times indeed. Misses the first one. And so having gotten at least the a second free throw in, they narrow down the deficit to just two points. St. John's College now looking to put some pace to the game, but stolen away by Pete House. Options coming left, right, and center. Decides to go for it by himself. Misses the layup and is able to collect the foul. But I think that was a little bit too ambitious for him to go for that shot. Full speed ahead. There were options left, right, and center, and he should have been able to take on those. But after all, they do have the free throws, and they should take advantage of them. Stolen by St. John's. Quite unlucky for the number 10 there. Not to get a foul. Because Peter House were in deep trouble. Ball comes out. Now to number 8. Looking for the turn and shoot. And once again, Peter House floundering on many of the opportunities that they're getting. And the uh, referee has signaled two free throws here for St. John's College. Looks like retribution has been paid for the young number 10 who was about to get away from Peter House but was denied the opportunity. Let's see how it works today. Ah, oh, good shot. That's exactly how you execute a free throw there. Uh, misses the next shot. Peter House picks up on possession. Look for the option, son. He finds a very good option, but ball handling there was quite poor. And St. John's College can escape that attack from the Kings. Looking for the pass. Decides to go for the layup. Misses it. But this time round, they get it. And so it is a time up and 
St. John's College will go to the halftime break, leading 11 points to 5 at this Chiz Under-20 basketball tournament right here on their home, term, or home turf, that is St. John's College. So welcome back from the halftime break. Peter House immediately on the charge, but wow. That was poor shooting right in front of the ring. Really good play. And it looks like there was a foul there. So St. John's College uh, have another opportunity. So good pass to him, looking for an outlet, an opportunity to try and get themselves into a shooting position again. A Hail Mary shot, but they get possession back and then they bubble it out. But luckily for them, that is a foul in the direction of Peter House. It won't be a free throw but it is another opportunity here to just try and make things work. So the corrected score line is actually 10 points to five, but still in favor of St. John's College. Decent pass, looking for an outlet. Our number six is all over him. Taken to number three. All right, there we go. An open opportunity goes for the shot. Well blocked. Comes out to number three. Can he take the three-pointer? Decides to go in to the D, but misses the shot. St. John's College here creating a lot of opportunities. And finally, they get the two-pointer there. And it's going to come with a bonus of free throws. 
So that was a, a good spell of pressure from St. John's College. And surely that should help increase their tally to at least round about 13 points to five if they can at least get one. Misses it. Midhouse on the charge, goes for the shot, gets it in, reduces the arrears to just five points. St. John's picking it up. Going for the shot, misses that one. Ball taken on the rebound, but poor shot in the end. Pedals can come out of their own half. Looking for that incisive pass, it doesn't quite come through. Now St. John's on the counter attack, can they get the shot off? Not quite able to execute it. And luckily enough, he didn't go all the way into the bench. But for all his efforts, he has been able to get free throws. And so it is going to be two free throws. Nice, good concentration. Misses the first one. Goes for the second. Misses it again. Rebound taken and another foul. So that was a foul on number two for St. John's College, and they should have. Uh, it looks like it's just a foul, but doesn't warrant a free throw. Tries to go for the shot, not successful. Pete House come away with it. There are outlets here, there are options. Can he find the right option? Looks like a good one. Gets onto it. Sends it out. Uh, pretty decent footwork. And he's finally able to get the two points in. So, Peter House here yeah, slowly but surely creeping back into the match. It is still seven minutes left on the clock, but three points the difference, and with a foul in favor of Peter House. So Peter House coming away with it now. Options, options will always be important. A three-point shot, misses that one. St. John's College now come away with it. Once again, number three looking for the shot. He finds an incisive one. And St. John's College drop another two points. But what a pass, what vision by number three. Straight into the key. Peter House still have some work to do. Going for it. Misses the shot. Now taken up St. John's College. Goodness me, that was poor. Now on the counter. He goes for the shot. But Peter House still have it. Decides to go for the three, misses it again. The, on the counter offensive, St. John's go for the layup, miss the second shot. Pete House come away with it, looking for that option. There's the outlet, number seven, looking for the incisive pass. Decides to go around and go for it. Wow! He was able to reverse that and be able to get a layup in it. And so he reduces the arrears down to three points. Six minutes on the clock. Number three spins out of that one. Goes for the shot, misses it. Goes for the second shot, misses it. Goes for the third and finally gets it in. So the lead restored to five points. Again, Pete House. Maybe 
will be found guilty for responding a little bit too late in the match as each and every second is ticking right now it makes it very very difficult St. John's sends it out there's a poor pass I'm sure the coach there signaling that I want it to be done quicker. We can get back into this game. Looking for those outlets. And creating good options are Peter House. Finally gets it to the number three. Goes for the shot, misses it. But St. John's College able to collect and can now slow down the game just a little. That looks like it is a foul in favor of St. John's. So St. John's College won't mind this. This will be chewing right into Peter House's time. Taken now. Intercepted by Peter House. It is the counter attack. Can the pass be found? Looks like there is a foul and Peter House should have two free throws now if they get those in it will only be down to three points and that puts them right back in the game misses the first one and he gets the second one so just down to four points a three-pointer would be so helpful and vital for Peter House right now. Ah, well intercepted. Peter House on the counter now. Can they get the shot away? Looking for the options. Ah, just misses the three-pointer there. It was nicely floating, but it didn't quite nestle into the ring. That one was also a miscalculated pass. Now we do have a substitution. Number five coming off. Number one coming on for Peter House. Gets it across. The movement is really, really good. There's an open option. Decides to go into it. Can they find the ring? Can he go for the three? He does, but he misses it completely. And these are shooting opportunities that are so important for Peter House right now. They cannot afford to be missing them. St. John's College can now just manage the game here with approximately three minutes left in this second half. Still looking for the options. Nice way of controlling possession. Chance has come, but I believe that one will not be counted as the shot only came after the whistle. So two free throws for number nine of St. John's College. Let's see how he does with these free throws. Uh, that one was a little bit too high. Uh, almost gets the accuracy right there. Peter House is scrambling for possession. They finally do get it. Good play. Number
Number seven looking, oh goodness me. Now sending it up and it pops in, drops another two points and surely St. John's College have sealed this encounter with a six point lead, three minutes on the clock. We know that weirder things have happened but Peter House not looking like scoring at the moment. So 18 points to 12. And another set of free throws are gonna come. Substitutions are also gonna be made. Number seven off, number 13 on. Again, Peter House have to do themselves a favor. And he gets that one in. So it's 18-13. And he gets the second one in too. So the lead down to four points. Oh, what an option, what a pass. And there are complaints coming through from the Peter House bench after the ref calls for a foul. And I mean, I would side with the Peter House coach there. I mean, the Peter House boy did not touch the arm or the hand of the St. John's College boy. He went on, he hit the board, but the coach of Peter House is not having it He's saying it's all good, but clearly that was not a foul. But at the end of the day, the man wearing the gray and green shirt, he is the one who is in charge. Misses the first one. Let's see if we can try get the second one. Misses it, Peter House are able to wrestle possession away. And finally they do get the ball under control. Number one going in for the shot. Looks like there is a foul there. And Peter House have won themselves a foul. And so they are gonna be able to restart play, but not free throws. Oh, number 12 goes for a shot and he dunks two rather dumps two points there so that means it is 18 16 and it looks like we've got two one free throw uh to come well i did say where the things have been known to happen and that's exactly what peter house is looking to demonstrate to me can they get that short that shot off it is only one, remember, he misses it. But St. John's College in the lead only by two points. That can be wiped off by two free throws or even a three-pointer. A good tussle for the ball there. A good, a good tussle for the ball. A bit of gamesmanship from number one. And uh, some of the stuff that we generally don't want to see within the game, but well, let's just say it's a part of uh, gamesmanship. Number three has it. Looking for the outlet, finds it. A fake, a shot, doesn't go over. And it is still remaining in St. John's College hands. Now just walking across our screen here are the likes of uh, Eaglesville and Lomagandi. And I'm sure they will be the next match on court. St. John's College coming through. Controlling possession, two minutes left on the clock. The shot 
wayward rebound taken by St. John's College. Possession almost gained by Peterhouse, but dropping that one just outside of play. What can they do at this moment? It's one minute 58 left on the clock. Substitution. Number five coming on for number one for Peter House. St. John's still with the ball. Well, it's the time not to be silly. Allow the defense to work. Keep the ball rotating. Keep it moving around. Provide options and outlets. They go for the shot. Missed. Rebound taken by St. John's. Uh, doesn't quite go in. Peter House wins possession. And that is a foul in their favor. Two minutes. Rather, one and a half minutes here. Left. And Peter House have gotten a foul. It's in their favor. And it looks like it is going to be free throws. Now. Can Peter House be able to drop these ones in? Oh, wow, that was a swish. Now, it is one point difference. Oh, that's another one in. And so, scores are level and immediately the St. John's coach calls for a timeout. He knows that the momentum is clearly in Peter House's favor and they need to quell it somehow and this is one of the strategies you can use. 18 all, one and a half minutes left on the clock in the second half. Who do you think is going to take this one? Back for the one and a half minutes left on the clock. Whoever gets the points now surely should take the game. You cannot afford to be slack in defending. You cannot afford to offer any opportunities like that. Pitaus able to take possession now. Moving forward. Looks for the pass right in the middle. Goes past two defenders. Goes for the shot. And he gets it in. Oh, goodness me, St. John's College will be ruining the fact that they just didn't take control of this match a little bit earlier on. And with 50 seconds left on the clock, they need two points like now, like right now. If they don't get it, then that's it for them. St. John's College, they miss another shot. Peter House are coming out 
They can control the game. They most probably are looking for the shot to kill it off. An outlet, can they get it in? They miss it, rebound taken. And that is, of course, two free throws for that foul. And Peter House surely are gonna run away with this one. Unless they make a massive mistake, I think they've got this on lockdown. Ah, oh, well taken shot. Now lead by three points. St. John's College will hope that Peter House missed this one and they get a three point opportunity. He misses it. Ball taken. St. John's College, they need a three pointer. Two points won't help. Two points is just gonna keep a one point lead. Peter House need to move the ball right up the court. Kill time. Looking to kill time. Peter House retained possession keeping it game management seven seconds left on the clock they go for the shot they miss it and so both coaches here definitely emotional right on their feet and it is free throw time for Peter House surely there's just not enough time three seconds left on the clock once this free throw is done St. John's College will clearly have lost this match and they lost it from a winning a winning point but i don't think that they would be able to get a downtown shot like steph curry even if they were to win the possession here they do win it he's looking for it he misses it game over and peter house have won it the rams unable to ram the kings off the court but the kings ruling the rams and eating them for a bribe. Well done to Peter House, winning 21 points to 20 in this Chiz under 20 basketball tournament. What a match. Next game coming up, Eaglesville taking on Loma Gandhi.